Hello, Satya Mala Firemom, welcome you all in Ask TV News. The headlines. PWD initiates process for construction of earth bridges over Irang and Lemitak rivers along the historic Tongzai Maril Road. Now the news in detail. The Public Works Department, PWD, Government of Manipur has taken off necessary process for construction of earth bridges over Irang and Lemitak rivers along the historic Tongzai Maril Road by using modern technology. In an exclusive conversation with ISTV News, Executive Engineer of PWD and EC Division, Prem Kumar said, the Tongzai Maril Road, which is also known as Old Kasar Road, is a historic road and it reaches the beautiful Kopum village. The road starts from Bisnupur and connects Nungba passing through Kopum village. He further said, construction of the road is about to be completed. The same technology which was used in the construction of Sanzentong Bridge will also be used in the two earth bridges to be constructed over Irang and Lemitak rivers. Laying of the foundations for the two bridges has already started. The length of both the bridges will be 65 meters east. The earth will be safe beneath the bridges. The main objective of construction of modern earth bridges is not only to attract the tourists but also to make the scenic Kopum village a historical tourist destination, he added. The required materials will arrive soon after the foundation work is over. Besides, the experts are arriving soon to assemble the materials for the bridges. He said, the initiative taken up by the department will benefit not only the villages of Kopum village but also all communities living in both sides of the historic Tongzai Maril or Old Kasar Road. He appealed to all sections of the society to extend cooperation in order to make the project a grand success. <laughs> Masi arch bridge hybriduni, concrete arch bridge ni, arch bridge na foundation tauraga makhada leraga matak dalam bis maina sakata ubuni, koi sanjen thong da sabat thong a duga pitang di kene, duso arch bridge ni, ado masi na concrete arch isi arch bridge mo ibetori bani, sixty five meters on ik sang ni na pena panari, matamama da a koi na ngawai da sumahai na bada dama malai dama malai na hai ni, ado dam du kaki war na tana hosisi ma duni impound tori ba ising si. A team of 200 cadets of Manipur Battalion NCC Imphal is all set to plant different saplings at Numai Singh Hill under the Swatch Bharat mission. The team was flag off by commander of number one Manipur squadron NCC T. Suman from Mite Mayak High School, Kongba today. Talking to ISTV News, Chief Officer of the Battalion S. Nabukumar said, the objective of organizing such program is to give the state of adventure sports including protection of the environment and to make qualities of leadership known to the cadets. <laughs> And the sport sport friendship. We don't have a leadership quality. We don't have a. We don't get a bit of anger. Since that, we don't have. We don't have a. Caribbean school. We don't have teamwork. We don't have physically fit. We don't have a. We don't have to be back. Zain Hospital Parking Auto Rickshaw Drivers Association today observed its fifth foundation day at Chobam Lakai Ayang Pali Youth Club. Speaking at a function, President of the Association, T.S. Ibota Mite said, it is not possible to offer jobs to all the educated unemployed youths of the state by the government. Therefore, instead of remaining as jobless, it is the need of the hour that the job-seeking youths grab at any job for which they have the knowledge and skill and earn money, he added. <laughs> Mayroong yadna samasi da mitoy mihen masama supudo ko ngamba samasi si da ay ko si mihen manihay da masakta ko ngamba adum balising ngamada sa minana ba adum ba group amani hay ba si miyam da kangan na ba gi ano ba lambi yung yali hay dna. IFCD Minister Gamtang Haukif has inaugurated the newly constructed school building of T. Chaljang Primary School under Service Sector Avian. 
ZEO Kangpukpi Ngachong Kipgen, DI Concha and Chief Village Paulal Kipgen attended as main guest. Speaking at the inaugural function, Minister Ngamthang Haukip said, The present education system in Sadar Hills is so pitiable. Therefore, the youth should be ready to meet and fight the many obstacles in the days to come, Minister Ngamthang Haukip added. <laughs> The 32-hour general strike, which started from 6 a.m. today, imposed by Zirivam District Demand Committee, pressurizing the state government, its long-pending demand of granting Zirivam subdivision as the full-fledged revenue district has greatly affected normal life. All markets and business establishments remain closed in Zirivam subdivision due to the ban. Passenger service vehicles plying Imphal and Silter Highway stop service However, essential services like electricity, medical related and religious ceremonies have been exempted from the purview of the ban. Some persons suspected to be ban supporters damaged a truck carrying cement in Gularthorn area last night. When the group of people continued to pell stones towards the truck, the driver lost control and met with an accident. However, no casualty has been reported so far. District Demand Committee had also imposed total ban on December 15 and 16. A man's dead body has been found at Wangkai Ketel Asangbi Community Hall in Pal East District around 6 a.m. today. Police pick up the body and gave it at Rimsmok. The deceased is believed to be a non manipuri about 30 to 35 years old. He wears a pair of jeans pants. As part of a national seminar organized in connection with completion of 100 years of general relativity by the Physics Department of Manipur University, a painting competition for students was held at the department yesterday. The competition was held on the team Albert Einstein and his life history. Lefrapum Rohit studying in 6th standard at Don Bosco School. Raskmar Dhanras studying in 6th standard at Covenant English School and Julia Twedingsam studying in 3rd standard at Kendria Bidalia Lamphel Park have been declared as the winners of the 1st, 2nd and 3rd positions respectively under the categories of students studying below 6th standard. Saugaizam Santos studying in 9th standard at Grace Cortez Cultural and Educational Development Foundation, Kaksing. Malim Nganba Waikom, studying in 8th standard at Shishu Nista Niketan. Ketrimayum Gopinath, studying in 10th standard at Kanandevi Memorial School. Secured 1st, 2nd and 3rd positions respectively in the category of students studying between 7th and 10th standards. Prizes will be given away to the position holders at a prize distribution ceremony which will be held on December 21, a press release edit. Remarkable Handicap Association Publications, OCHAR, a quarterly journal was released by MLA of Kesamtong Assembly Constituency, El Ibomza, today. The releasing ceremony was held at the residence of the MLA at Kesamtong Le Somlerak. President of the association, P. Kopendro, among others, participated in the function. The journal has been brought out with the objective of helping the differently able persons. This journal will give new messages and bring challenges, he added. Before we wrap up the bulletin, the headlines once again. PWD initiates process for construction of earth's bridges over Irang and Laimatak rivers along the historic Tongzai Road. Thank you for joining us. Keep watching ISTV News for more updates.